This is Dave Lee for Six Towns Radio. I'm very pleased to be able to say that on the other end of the phone, hopefully, if he's still there, is the C- CEO of Multiplay and the man behind the Insomnia Gaming Festivals. It is Craig Fletcher. Are you there, Craig? I, I am. Technology has worked. <laughs> well, it's the only thing that has worked today for me, I can tell you. You know. But, uh, now, Insomnia 58 is your next big event, and it's coming up at the end of this month. What is the main attractions of the latest Insomnia? I mean, it's actually, it's a, as a, it's a gaming festival, so there's a lot going on. There's everything from a massive expo hall of all the latest games. I think we've got 11 games where you'll get your hands on for, we've announced FIFA 17 first play, and there's a load more that are coming out this week. You'll meet some of the big, biggest YouTube celebrities on the planet, people like Syndicate, Darren Minecart, and loads of people like from the Yogscast, people like that. Uh, there's five stages of content where we've got all the programs going on. There's esports, everything from people jumping on and playing Minecraft, ice creams, while some of the world's best players competing for tens of thousands of dollars. Um, you've got uh, people bringing, over 3,000 people are bringing their own computers and consoles and hooking them up onto a massive network over the weekend. Tabletop games, cosplay, evening entertainment. Think if Glastonbury was about gaming... Um, this would be what it is, and that gives people an idea of what sort's going on. Wow, it's, and it's massive as well, and it's being held uh, at the Birmingham NEC, like the last one, of course. You Absolutely, need... I mean, it's, it's 11 halls of the NEC, so that gives you an idea of the size of the show, including two of the halls that are just full of tents with people camping. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's tr- a true festival, complete with tents. So, I mean, for the, for the regular gamers, I mean, I've been to a few uh, Insomnias uh, recently. Uh, are there really any changes to the format? Yeah, I wish I, wish I could tell you about all the other ones yet, but I hopefully announced this week um, there's some other very big games that people very much have heard of getting first plays there as well. But we've added a whole new zones. So we've got uh, the whole drone racing zone. So you'll see people live racing drones that go 50, 60 miles an hour. You'll be able to experience the thrill of doing your own drone race in a VR setup we've got there. Um, we've got League Fest, which is a whole hall dedicated to League of Legends, um, the most played game on the planet. Uh, so there's, there's some great top players coming along there. You've got the developer there doing talks. There's quizzes. There's live shows. There's all sorts of stuff going on there. Um, we've got evening entertainment every night uh, and also the biggest pub quiz the UK has ever seen, 2,700 people on a Saturday night in the main stage. Oh. So huge amounts of stuff going on. It just keeps growing. It, d- it does keep growing. I mean, I was going to say, how long have you been doing these Insomnia events? So it's about uh, 10, 15 years, is it? Yeah, so the first Insomnia event I did that had the Insomnia name was in March 99, and that was the original Insomnia. Um, so a long time, so what's that, nearly 17 years that they've been going on. I mean, I did my first LAN event, which is like the hardcore from which this all came, uh, back in 1994 with 20 PCs and a lot of coax cable <laughs> in a hotel room in Southampton. So it's, uh, it, it's come a long way from those humble beginnings, put it that way. And you're obviously a very keen gamer yourself. What were your top five games of all time? Top you know? five, top five, that's an interesting one. So I'd say I played a lot of StarCraft. That's a big RTS that's, that's big into esports. I did lose a big chunk of my life into World of Warcraft, like so many other people. Um, <laughs> Elite, I like my space sims. I used to play, I mean, I played Elite when I was five, six years old, and the original version came out on the uh, on the BBC, and there's a really good version of it out now. Games like Civilization, uh, I've played so many iterations of that great game, Civilization, and the, where it all started for me for lands is Doom. So that's the original one of the original shooters that, uh, that's actually made a big comeback recently with the, with the, with the most recent uh, version of it. Yes, indeed. Cool. Yes. Can't, can't go wrong with Doom, I always sort of think. Uh, well, <laughs> Uh, well, maybe you probably can actually go wrong with Doom, actually, but that's another matter. Um, and yeah, really, just, to, just to, to look to the future now, where, where is, is gaming going? Is there any uh, games or genres that uh, you think that uh, are going to be coming along that you're looking forward to? I mean, the one I'm most interested about is, uh, at the moment, because I've just, just invested in one of the platforms, is, is where VR is going. I mean, VR, I think, has got huge uh, applications past gaming, but for me, gaming, what we're going to have at that, and I've seen some of the games that have already started to come out for that are looking pretty amazing, but it's very early doors. What are developers going to do with this this technology? Um, in terms of the, norm, the, the, the more regular games, uh, Timefall 2, really looking forward to that this year, and also Battlefield 1, massive Battlefield fan ever since the original 1942, um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what, uh, what they do with that, uh, taking it back to, the world, to World War One. And when it gets released uh, later this year, so lots, lots of great stuff. There's a huge lineup for this Christmas. I'm with you on those. But the only thing to say is, uh, yeah, Insomnia 58, August. What dates are they again? August the. It's 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 the August Bank Holiday weekend. So just in two weeks' time, so 26th to 29th, I think. We put them on the spot there. <laughs> 
<laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I haven't got the date in front of me either, but there you go. And at the NEC, tickets available online? Yeah, absolutely. Just put, put Insomnia Gaming Festival into your favourite search engine and uh, on you go. Brilliant. Craig, thanks very much for talking to us. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you there. Okay, mate. Take care. Cheers.